Hello, hello, and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at my Mega Constructs Bone Shaker. Because Hot Wheels, uh, because LEGO does not own the right to Hot Wheels, they cannot make it. Although I wish they could, but that's a day, another story for another day. This guy right here is an absolute unit. He, the, he actually weighs enough that my uh, turntable has trouble turning him. But he's pretty cool. Let's jump back over to play features, though. Minus your white, you have your white wall wheels. This piece right here actually comes off. So you can actually see your engine and everything. The blue flames on it actually came off my uh, Lego uh, Batmobile. Which if I you want to see more of him, I can show him later on if you want. But they came off him so they don't come standard with it. And another thing to add to, also gets a nice look at, at the interior. I actually love that. That's a printed piece that's actually now sticker. He, um, like my Supra, he is an actually left-handed drive vehicle, but I converted it to a right-hand drive. I actually took it all apart to do that. And then you come down here, opens and closes. And this right here actually is flipped around too. Another little thing I did. You have your Hot Wheels logo on the side and your bone shaker. Also, Printing pieces, not stickers. Like a freaking Supra, man. I think it was packed with them. Your top actually comes off, so you actually have a better view of it. But with your top on... If I know... I don't know if I remember how to put a top on, guys. I'm sorry. No, it was like the first time. Sorry, doing this one hand's a pain in the ass. Can't give you an idea what it looks like with the top one. I just actually explain him with it off. That way the light goes through better. Your tank in the back. Of course, you have your engine. I love that molded piece at the front. Your fake suspension work. Better look at that engine. Even has the V-belts and everything. Because that was the area that came on the V-belts instead of just one serpent belt. Hot wheels logo in the back. More fake suspension. But it looks pretty good. Nice white walls. In you have your bottom, which is one solid piece like this thing, not going nowhere. It is a one clunky unit, and I love it. But now that's it for this guy. This is a little beast. And honestly, what I want to do is I want to do an MOC on Rebrickable, making this guy into a Lego form as well. That's gonna be a pain in the ass, but maybe one day I'll get around to it. But that's it for this video, and I hope you all enjoyed them.